New question, what happens when you mix a hydrogen halide, like HBr or HCl, with an alkene? Well, what happens is, this HBr, which comes as an H connected to a Br, adds itself across the double bond. The double bond breaks open, you add H to one side and Br to the other side. The only trick you need to know is that the H attaches to whichever carbon already has the most H's attached to it. This carbon has an H and an H, that's two H's attached directly to it. This carbon doesn't have any H's attached directly to it. Sure, there are hydrogens kind of hanging out on the substituents here, but this carbon has no hydrogens and this carbon has two. This one has more. It gets the H. Capiche? Watch this. That's my two central carbons. It was a double bond. We're breaking it open so it's a single bond now. The second one had two hydrogens attached to it. The first one had two CH3s attached to it. And I'm going to add my H to the carbon that already has the most H's. Obviously, the other side gets the Br. Done. This is how a hydrogen halide adds itself across a double bond. You actually end up with what's called an alkyl halide because you have a halogen atom attached to an alkane of some kind. Now, you can also show this by stick figures. We have two carbons double bonded to each other and two CH3s. These are the same molecule, get it? but we're gonna take that double bond and make it a single bond. We've got two CH3s still sticking out of the first carbon, and we're gonna add the Br to the first carbon because it has the least amount of H's. This carbon gets an H, but remember you don't show that in stick figures. And that's it. That's how you add a hydrogen halide across an alkene to make an alkyl halide. Best of luck.